Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today's video is just gonna be a short one covering off on how to add mods to your Armor Forger tools. Uh, the reason why I'm creating this quick video is that I'm still getting a lot of DMs, uh, people asking me how do I uh, simply add these uh, add mods in general. Uh, so I thought I would help out some of the uh, new players that who are jumping in the Reforger tools uh, with this video. So as you can see here, we're on the workshop website and I've uh, chosen River Valley. Uh, one thing to take note of is dependencies. So these will be need, need to be added to your Armour Forger tools as well. Uh, but further, jump into those dependencies and just ensure there's no extra dependencies because they would need to be added as well. Uh, so in this case, it's just the railway generator, which is already going to be added as a part of the uh, top level here. Okay, so let me launch Armour Forger tools. Sweet. Let's uh, create a new project. Um, adding mods video. Create. So I'm just creating my project first up. Doesn't need to be exactly done in this order. This is great. Still having back end issues, but either way, I can still continue with this video. Um, what do we got? Let's launch our Forger tools again. Move that page out of the way. So here's the project I just created. Now I want to add the uh, mods or the dependencies. So you need to have downloaded them through the um, Armour itself, the Armour client. Uh, so you would have gone into the actual workshop and game and downloaded those mods. Um, but I already have them downloaded, so I'm just going to continue on from the uh, workbench here. Uh, so I'm clicking add project down the bottom left, add an existing project. You'll navigate to, we'll go back to the start. So you navigate here on the left, go to your documents, my games, Armour Forger add-ons, and you'll want to locate the uh, the mods. Uh, so what are we adding? River Valley. River Valley, double click on it, go into it, and then select the um, add-on.game project. And now we need to make sure we add those dependencies. So add an existing project. It's already got the, um, Location here, so I'm just going to go up one level. One was Wolf's Building Pack. Here we are. And Railway Generator. Always take note of these, um, the GUID as well. So sometimes the mod's not named exactly like it is on the uh, wet workshop, so you're looking for it. If you can't locate it and you, um, you're sure you've downloaded it, have a look for the GUID. So this might not say railway generator, it might just say, I don't know, railway. So, but it's still the same mod if the GUID's the same. Okay, so now I have all of these uh, mods added to the uh, workbench. So now I'm gonna go into my um, adding mods video, game project. Or projects are going to go to workbench go to options here we have dependencies so now i'm going to add all i'm going to add is the river valley because the river valley already has the other dependencies added to it and they are also added to my workbench so there we go river valley hitting okay it's going to save it close it down Launch the Armour Forger tools again. Which comes up like this. I'm gonna double select my project that I've made. And here we go. So now I have Railway Generator, River Valley, and Wolf's Building Pack. Uh, remembering that I only added River Valley and the dependencies came along. So that is pretty much it. Actually, one thing to take note of, let me close Armour Forger tools again and reopen. If you've added the top level mod that you want to use, so it's a map mod or whatever the mod is, but you don't have one of the dependencies in your projects so and your work uh, bench launcher, sorry. So let's remove railway generator. So now if I launch this, it won't come up. So you can see it reverts back to just Armour Forger. So if you, if you have a project and you're starting it up and there's a dependency missing, this is what it's going to look like. It may have a couple other little mods added that are part of, if you've got like five, six mods added uh, to your la uh, launcher already or your project. But if it comes up that it's missing uh, one of, or a lot of the mods, 
or even your project itself, that means you're missing a dependency or a dependency of a dependency. So let's close that again and prove that theory a bit further. Come on. Uh, what was it? I removed railway generator, add an existing project. Oh, here we go. Again, that location is documents, my games, armor forger add-ons. If you're looking for where your um, projects are located, so they're in armor forger, so same location, my games, armor forger workbench though, add-ons, and these are all the projects that you've made. So let's get back in here quickly. River, I oh know what River Valley, railway generator. Sweet, let's add that back in. Now it's back in. I'm gonna open my project and all three dependencies will be there plus my project. So there we go. So there's my project and there's the three dependencies. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, cheers, have a good one.